I can make the background of a video pop with color isolation, highlighting a specific object or person while the rest of the scene fades into black and white. Or you can use text highlights to draw attention to key moments, making your message more impactful and visually engaging. You can even place text behind a person, creating a dynamic 3D effect where the words appear to float in the background as they move in front of it. These are just a few of the creative cap cut tricks you can explore. In this video, I'm going to show you six cap cut tips and tricks that will take your editing skills to the next level, giving you the tools to make your videos truly stand out. Let's dive in. First up, let's dive into one of my favorite effects, color isolation. This technique makes a single color pop while everything else fades to black and white, adding a cinematic touch to your video. To achieve this effect, upload your video to the timeline, then go to the adjustment tab and select the HSL tool. Choose the color you want to keep vibrant. For example, orange, red, or yellow, and desaturate all the other colors. Watch how the orange and white in this clip stands out while the rest turns grayscale. It's a simple yet powerful way to draw attention to specific elements in your video. But if this method doesn't work as expected, don't worry. There's another trick. First, drag your video to the timeline and duplicate it by copying and pasting the clip. Click on the upper video layer, go to the video section, and select Remove Background. Once the background is removed, select the lower clip and fully desaturate the colors. And that's it. You've created a clean color isolation effect without relying solely on the HSL tool. Take a look at the final result. Next, let's create a text behind subject effect to add depth and style to your video. First, upload your video to the timeline, then duplicate the video layer by copying and pasting it. Select the top video layer, go to the video section, and choose remove background. Now, add your text layer between the two video clips. Adjust the size and position of the text so it fits naturally within the scene. To make the effect even more dynamic, animate the text using keyframes. Add subtle movements like a slide or fade to make the text smoothly move behind the subject creating a sleek, professional look. This effect is perfect for adding creativity to your videos, especially for intros, transitions, or title sequences. Try it out to make your edits stand out. Want to make objects float like this? Let's create this effect in CapCut. Start by adding your object or image to the timeline, then go to the Effects tab at the top and search for the Pendulum effect. Drag and drop the effect onto the object. Adjust the speed and strength sliders to control the movement. Increase the strength for a dramatic swing or slow it down for a gentle hover. This effect works great for adding a touch of magic to your videos, whether it's floating icons or animated elements. But what if you want to make text float? There's a slight difference. First, add the text to the timeline, then write the text you want to display as floating. Adjust the font and color to enhance its appearance and make it look more polished and visually appealing. Then right-click on the text layer and choose Create Compound Clip. After that, apply the same pendulum animation to achieve that floating text effect. With this simple trick, you can make both objects and text float giving your videos a dynamic and creative touch. Try it out and see how it transforms your edits. Now you can create incredibly realistic images and videos in CapCut by simply typing a prompt. Let's begin with text to image. Start by clicking on the top left corner, then go to media, choose AI media, and select AI image. In the prompt section, type a description like this. Generate a realistic image of a tiger in a dense forest, with sunlight streaming through the trees and casting beautiful patterns on the forest floor. Once you've entered your prompt, select the model and aspect ratio you prefer. After that, hit Generate, and within just a few minutes, your image will be ready. 
take a look at the incredible realism in the image. It's truly mind-blowing, capturing every detail with lifelike accuracy. Now let's move on to text to video. Click on AI video. You can choose whether to generate a video from an image or from a text prompt. For now, let's focus on creating a text to video. Enter a prompt like this. Generate a realistic video of a lion walking through a dense forest with sunlight filtering through the trees and the sound of rustling leaves in the background. The lion moves gracefully and you can see the natural beauty of the environment. After entering your prompt, hit generate and within a minute, your video will be ready to play. Want to add a cool text highlighting effect in CapCut? Let's do it using a brush element. This trick is perfect for making important words stand out in your video. First, upload your image and a yellow brush element. You can easily download brush PNGs from Google for free. Drag the image to the timeline and adjust it to fit the screen. Next, drag the brush element onto the timeline and align it with the text you want to highlight. Uncheck the Uniform Scale button so you can manually adjust the width and height. Adjust the scale width and scale height as needed to perfectly frame the text. Once that looks good, go to the Mask option, click Add Mask and select Rectangle. Compress the rectangle so it covers just the start of the brush, then add a keyframe. Move to where you want the highlight to end and expand the rectangle to reveal the entire text. Now for the final touch. Go to the Blend option and choose Linear Burn. This makes the brush blend seamlessly with the text, creating a natural highlight effect. Want to create an amazing video inside text effect in CapCut? Let's break it down step by step. First, add your text to the timeline. Type your word, for example, London. Then, choose a bold font and a color that fits your style. Once your text is ready, right-click on the text layer and choose Create Compound Clip. This step groups the text into a single layer, making the animation smoother. Next, animate the text. Go to the start of the timeline, add a keyframe, and then move to the end of the timeline. Zoom the text out as much as possible. Add another keyframe and right-click on it. Choose Preset Curve and select Cubic In for a smooth zoom out effect. Once you're happy with the animation, export the video. Now bring the exported text video back into the timeline along with the video you want to place inside the text. Stack the text video on top of the main video, then select the text layer, go to the Blend option and choose Darken. And here we go. And there you have it. Six amazing CapCut tips and tricks to take your video editing to the next level. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.